Hello and welcome to a very happy episode of Stellaris. Welcome to the 24th century. Let's see what we can do to keep going in this weird and wonderful galaxy. Let's get started by having a look at what's going on with the economy. We have an issue with energy credits here, and I think we need to focus on that first. So let's see what we can do to deal with it. We could always construct more generator districts, but that could be a small problem considering that we don't have an unemployment issue anywhere. We'll start by putting one on Yorktown just so there are no real problems and we'll have to see what comes next oh we found an alien entity in the orbit of Yukiki it has yet to display any signs of aggression but it isn't responding to our hails we should probably try to study situation it. log has been updated Okay, we have a Federation XP problem. Well, we're still gaining cohesion every month, but it's lowered for some reason. I suppose it's because we moved up to medium centralization. We'll have to worry about that a little later. Let's go to Yukiki and see what we can do about the mysterious entity in the system. It's an enigmatic cache. We'll have to bring a science ship over here, but it shouldn't be too hard. Where is the nearest one? The Armstrong is over in the Marth system, so bring it over. Oh, okay, so it's not a science ship job, it's more of a research one. We can do that. We'll leave the Armstrong where it is. Our friends are becoming more friendly to aliens, good. Let's have the Armstrong assist with research once more, and we'll move on from there. Okay, we've got a problem with the Irabot Assimilators. Some of our operatives have been apprehended by local Hunter Seeker drones. Oh, that's going to be a setback. Good. Very good. We shouldn't expect to get away with that forever, but it's better than nothing. We're short on energy credits, so we're going to have to sell some alloys first. We can sell 2,500 and buy some minerals with that. We'll buy a thousand. Okay, what needs constructing here? We can upgrade the reassembled ship shelter to a planetary administration, but it will cause some problems and we might have to get more rare crystals. Let's do it anyway. Okay, something's up here. Which market price is too high or low? This can be sold for a minimum of four. So we can up that price. Just in case, we'll lower this back down to three. We can raise this up to four and this up to four, just so there's no trouble. That was the problem. It was something about the price at which we were buying things, but at least we fixed it for now. And we've got a problem here again. This should be around 12 or 13, so maybe 14. There we are. How many federations are out here anyway? A few, actually. We'll have to see what we can do to make sure that everything doesn't spiral out of control. What's up here? Our spy network is overextended. Oh, the infiltration level dropped again for some silly reason? That seems goofy. Oh, we have the Mendesura Braves. She of the Void has a message for you. If you so desire, you may now hire some of our fleets as mercenaries. Our crews are disciplined and will obey your instructions as long as you can meet our prices. Well, that's good to know. I'm not quite sure why this dropped, but we'll have to move on. We'll sell 40 alloys instead of the usual 25. That should bring in more energy credits anyway. Oh, the readied shield resolution has passed. Yeah, that's going to be frozen for a while, at least until we can make things better on the infiltration front. A new presidential election is underway. We didn't construct enough generator districts as far as I know, so... Hmm. Yeah, we only got one out of the two done. It looks like we're going to have to leave that go. Yeah, that was to be expected. Oh. Uh... Huh. President Paquette got re-elected anyway. 
President Paquette wants to build out research stations, but we can't exactly do that, so we might just have to leave it go. That's kind of silly when you have everything fully built out. Situation log has been updated. We discovered a smuggling ring on Earth, and one of the captains gave us coordinates to a planet that contains the remnants of an ancient precursor civilization. Oh, it's on Mars. You'd think that we would have found that already. I don't see why we can't investigate it anyway, because we have a science ship that's already on station. So let's just send it over to Mars. A special project has concluded. Oh, we found a well-preserved artifact from the precursors. That's neat. Oh, we're starting to have a space piracy problem. The Star Raiders have struck against a trade route in the Barnard Star System, so we need to find them and take them out. They're here, so we need to close in from every side. We'll bring the first fleet over. The home fleet can corner them too. Red alert. Spaceport under fire. This isn't going to end very well for the station here, so we're going to have to rebuild it. That's gonna be a big problem. Wait, President Paquette died. That's rather sad, considering. The home fleet is already in the system, so we can almost certainly stop these pirates. Let's see how it goes. It's pretty. And we scored a massive victory against the pirates. We recovered a strong room module from the pirate station in the Barnard Star System. Well, we got a few energy credits and minerals out of that. We're going to have to repair this station though. Unless we can just let it rebuild on its own. Situation log has been updated. Yep, it's rebuilding by itself. President Sima has just been inaugurated. And a theocratic dictatorship closed its borders to us. Go figure. We'll send the home fleet home for some repairs. A special project has concluded. The enigmatic cache is still shrouded in mystery. It's not organic, but it's not entirely machine either. It appears to be preoccupied with gathering, storing, and encoding data. The surface is covered in hundreds of thousands of minuscule scratches and dents, in which we have discovered traces of a compound that is alien to our galaxy. Well, we gained a lot of engineering research, so that's worth something. It looks like we're going to have to buy more consumer goods and minerals. We'll buy 60, just so there's a bit of a surplus. And 40 minerals. We have a surplus of food, so we can sell some of that. We'll sell 70 of it. For how much? It looks like we're going to have to go for a minimum of one, but that's okay. Was that too much? Maybe we'll just remove the minimum price? That was what the problem was. We'll let it go and sell at whatever price we can get, especially since it's so low anyway. I don't think that we can spare an envoy for this. It's time for another tradition. We should try to stick with unlocking the trees that we already have. That way we can get more ascension perks. Databank uplink seems like the best option. We need to increase our research output. We can add more ships to the fleet, so let's see what we can do on that front. We need more destroyers, so let's go for a redesign before we add them to the fleet. We'll do an artillery bow. 
with a gunship stern, large UV lasers all around, along with shields, some heavy armor, and crystal plating. We'll add regenerative hull tissue as well. And this will be called the Columbia Class Destroyer. We'll have it auto upgrade and save it. We'll construct two of these, one in each shipyard. And follow it up with a Saratoga Class Cruiser. Actually, no, we'll go for a Richter. That should get us up to maximum capacity once again. What about the Astral Studies Network? It'll increase our starbase upkeep, but it'll improve several modules and buildings in it. Let's go for that. And we won't repeal research cooperation. We lost a governor. Okay, we can always recruit another one. Let's go for Giovanna Bianchi. We definitely need more minerals, so a purification plant shouldn't be too bad. And we can build research labs. Research concluded. We improved our mining capabilities. Synthetic crystal plants might be a good idea, especially since it'll help us to build up that part of our capacity, although at the cost of normal minerals. We'll work on Elgate Insights first. Dr. Wang has died. We'll have to hire another scientist. We'll go with Dr. Chamberlain. She can get back to the Inthor system and assist with research. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Indeed it is. We can create a planetary capital and a hall of judgment. What else can we do here? Food processing might be the best option, although shouldn't we already have this? Go figure, right? Okay, the third fleet is at Sirius, and that's one of our destroyers. We'll add it to the fleet at Alpha Centauri. Oh, the Nixies must be more Orassian separatists. We might have to suspend our operation here and acquire more assets, because if it's not moving, we can't really do much of anything. Let's acquire another asset. Oh, we suddenly have an overabundance of everything, almost. We'll keep it that way for now. It looks like our Fafossan brothers are taking down the crystal aliens here. At great cost to themselves, of course. We are being hailed. Okay, what happened? I don't see why not. Oh. Okay. Well, you done goofed your bots. It's time to take you down. It's going to be very difficult to do that, though. We'll rally the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th fleets and send them on their way. The staging ground will be Alpha Centauri for the moment, and then we'll move on from there. We'll merge our new destroyer into 1st Fleet, and our new cruiser, the UES Lund, into 2nd Fleet. We're going to have to move quickly if we want to win this thing. Oh, we're losing a Federation level? Uh-oh. What happened? Federation cohesion is going up, but our XP is dropping like a rock. It looks like we're going to have to leave everything the way it is. We are being hailed. Okay, our fleets are pretty much assembled now, so let's make sure that we win this war. That doesn't make sense, we're already in a Federation. This is okay, though. Okay, our two fleets are ready to go. And we have another migration treaty proposal. Is this happening because we're losing a level? Oh, it is. Well, on the plus side, we gained some refugees from the Haruni. Okay, let's send the first and second fleets over to Fafasenga. That will be the staging area. We'll also disembark Transport Fleet 2, but we need a General first. General Curtis should be a big help. 
We'll send him to the Fafossen capital as well. We lost our engineering scientist, so we're going to have to get a new one. Dr. Undoom is the right choice. Oh, the Irobots are about to engage. The Thorquell have been fighting with each other, and they want to fight for us in exchange for credits. Maybe we should do that. It's not the best option, but it's necessary if we want to get rid of the Irobots. The unhinged Screamer Flotilla has four cruisers, six frigates, and twelve raiders. And they are deranged! Hmm. Let's go for it. We need to win this war by any means necessary. You make wise decision, Dwarak. By hiring these unstable Torquil, you make certain some other Dwarak not hire them and send them after you. Hey! <laughs> oh, they're at Saul. We'll send them to Hishmal. They can stand guard there for the moment. We are being hailed. Okay. And we received more refugees. Well, good for us, I suppose. The Lagrange needs to be retasked, so we will have it assist with research. What happened here? 001 made it through the Maroth wormhole? Uh-oh. It looks like we're gonna have to fight them on our own turf. We'll send the home fleet that way. Knowledge is the key to the universe. That should help with our food output. We should try to research genetic modification. Okay, we're making a difference here. We need to send the Torkels right after our enemies here. And hold back the transport fleet for the moment. We'll send it to Lachium. Research concluded. Oh, Marth is being attacked, so we're going to have to move over there quite quickly. We have lost a spaceport. Luckily, we have wormhole travel now. We're going to need some x-ray lasers. We're going to have to get the home fleet over there before they attack Yorktown, because that's going to be terrible. The first and second fleets can go to Parsac. We have detected hostiles. The Runa system? Where's that? Oh, it's over there. I wonder if there's a wormhole of some sort here and that's how they got over to us. Gee, thanks guys. You'd think that a bunch of robots wouldn't insult us while we're at war with their genocidal cousins. The Rackets have an offer for us. I've already explained. We brought the power converter to the auxiliary manifold. No, not that power converter. <laughs> Must I do everything my- Oh, customers, welcome. Please, we bear many goods. We have many wares. All carted safely through the stars for your convenience. What is it? 40 living metal for 55 rare crystals. We can't afford that, but can you get back to us later? Then we shall call you again before making our leave of your space. Okay, they own the mining stations, but not Yorktown. We're gonna have to get over there as fast as possible. Oh, they took the Fafossen capital. Oh no. They're bombarding Faf Prime. We're gonna have to rally everyone we can and take it back. Where are their fleets anyway? They're all over here. The Gargaxtons want to work for us. Okay. Although we're a little short on credits now, so we're gonna have to sell a bunch of crap just to afford that. We should be able to retake Maroth rather quickly, though. Here we go. Engaging hostile forces. Let's get rid of the fleet first. Zero zero one has laid station. claim to the Kapler system. On the plus side, though, we completely eliminated the enemy fleet. The system is ours again. We're gonna have to head back for repairs and then come back on patrol, just in case they try anything. We can send the Armstrong over here. Oh no, I don't know if we're going to be able to stop them. Again, what are they all doing over here? We'll have to make do. We'll sell 5,000 food and about 1250 alloys. Or a lot more than that, I suppose. Let's cut this base price down to two. 
there it is. We can afford to deal with the Gergaxtons. We can hire the Armada of the Voidborn. I don't know if that'll be enough to win the war, but it should be. We'll send them over to Parsax. As long as they don't head over... Oh, they did. Well, that's going to be a problem, but our fleet should be able to handle it, for now at least. Damn it. I don't know how we smooth things over because we're at war. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode of Stellaris. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep your eyes on the stars, and I'll see you next time.